Welcome back to week 8. This week I create a planet in search of a photo for complementary colors. I also give you a peek into my mind when I use one of my photos as a raw shack test, more commonly known as the ink plop test. And you're obviously very welcome to join in the fun. This week's planning started by looking at the color wheel and just understanding what is complementary colors. Well, complementary colors is the two colors opposite each other on the color wheel. For instance, red and green, yellow and purple, and the one I'll be using, orange and blue. You know those random videos that pop up on your Facebook? Well, this week, it was a science type of video brought to me by a page called Blossom, which I've never heard of before and obviously did and subscribed to. Nevertheless, that was the inspiration for this week's photo. After studying the video quite a few times, I realized I only needed milk, oil and acrylic paint. Acrylic paint was the only thing I really needed to buy. Thus, when I got in the store and I saw these neon fluorescent colors that would shine underneath a black light, it was an absolute no-brainer. But then I needed a black light as well, so Amazon was my friend where I ordered a small little black light torch for almost next to nothing. After my two failed attempts, I was back behind my computer, diving into Google and YouTube in search of answers. Turns out, I needed to dilute the paint quite a bit, I could use a smaller container and pre-mix the milk and oil and then just add the diluted paint afterwards and that would create the desired bubbles. I would like to make a quick dive into the technical aspects of this week's photo. In a previous bubble photo I took using only water and oil, I discovered that the lower f-stop can be a bit problematic 
since the oil and water lies on different levels and some just turns out a bit more blurrier. And I thought for this week, that'll be a lesson I can use. Thus, I bumped my f-stop up quite a bit to get that extra bit of depth of field. My shutter speed, I couldn't make too slow because the bubbles kept moving and popping. Thus, it ended up with the ISO being my determining factor and I had to bump that up just to expose it properly since in macro photography, it seems like the light is always too little. I didn't do much with this edit, just a basic crop and some enhancement to make the color pop even more. Dropping down the blacks helped quite a bit with that. The biggest part of the edit actually went to Photoshop since I wanted to remove all the blurry bubbles that light up on top of the oil and weren't in focus properly. purplish mush of my failed attempt 1 and 2. Well, after I knew I got my shot of the week, I started playing around with that, adding to that the diluted paint and photographing that. Although it weren't in theme anymore, I really were happy with these results and they were probably some of my favourite photos. Why don't you join along and play the ink plop test with me and see what figures do you see? Also see the astronaut playing with a ball. This photo is probably my favorite. Not only because of the vibrant colors, but the story I created in my mind. And this is where some of you might be wondering what's going on in my mind. But the story I've created is this adult donut man on this island with two youngsters just behind him. My initial thought was they look excited becoming older, but then I noticed the blotch behind the donut man, which looks like he's letting out some gas and they are afraid of what's coming. I would love to know which of these photos were your favorite and whether you saw any interesting shapes in any of them. Although I got my pictures only at attempt number three, they turned out much better than anticipated and choosing just one picture was actually kind of hard. Luckily, Tarsus was up for the job and chose one to submit this week. Next week probably won't be my mom's favorite theme since the theme is to move the camera. Thank you for watching and see you then. Goodbye.